the cancer is still spreading, I'm afraid there's nothing else we can do. There is one person who might be able to help. Our program is a two-pronged treatment outside Mexico City. The results have been stunning. She saved my life. You're in very good hands with us. After that, what happens then? Your whole life happens then. I missed his voice. According to these scans, the tumor was never removed. How much time do I have? Months. Oh. Best. I still have a lot of work that needs to be done. So these mans lied? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. It's time to play a game. You all pretended to cure me, but what I have planned for each of you is very real. <laughs> the only thing I have not provided is your anesthetic. But trust me, you will want to remain alert. <laughs> Out of all the men to cheat, you pick John Kramer? Please, don't hesitate. Place a big <laughs> piece of your cerebral tissue into the glass enzyme tank. This will save your life. So sleep, silent, take this is not retribution. It's a reawakening. Live or die, the choice is yours. Yo! Is that Shawnee Smith? Amanda's back? Okay, I don't care what anyone says. This is my guilty pleasure franchise. I will carry on watching these films until I am finished. I do not care. So I'm very excited for this film. The reason being is because I've been watching the Soul franchise since I was a kid and that's kind of messed up. And if you know me, you know how much I love Soul and you know how much I love the fact that these films are still carrying on even though they have gone way past its uh, expiry date. But... I love it. So this takes place between Soul 1 which came out 2004 and Soul 2 which came out 2005 and John Kramer goes to Mexico in order to get treatment for his cancer and because of the fact that they didn't actually treat him and his tumor was still there he is now reenacting his justice amongst those that defrauded him. And if you have not seen all of the films, the films literally came out consecutively over the course of like 10 years. Yeah, Saw 1 which came out 2004, Saw 2 which came out 2005, Saw 3 which came out 2006, Saw 4 which came out 2007, Saw 5 which came out 2008, Saw 6 which came out 2009, Saw 3D which came out 2010, uh, Jigsaw which came out 2017, and Spiral, which is the Chris Rock spin-off film, which came out 2021. And now you have Spiral, which, which is now coming out in 2023. So there's a lot of movies, great traps, lots of fun, as crazy as it sounds. I'm actually very excited, and the fact is we got a great reveal of Amanda Young, who is now returning, who is played by Shawnee Smith. It's going to be a great addition to this movie. Of course, remember what happened to her in one of the Saw films. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna ruin what happens in any of them. But check it out. It's enjoyable, regardless how many of them there are, they are just a lot of fun to watch. It's one of the most successful cinema franchises in history, created by James Wan which came out back in 2004. It was a short film that turned into a feature film because he got his massive break. And so it's literally about moral dilemmas, it makes you question whether or not Jigsaw is a good or bad person. Yes, he has done a lot of bad things to a lot of people, but then you have to think, do those people actually deserve it or, is, or are his methods quite extreme? I ain't gonna tell you which side I'm on because you might think I'm a psychopath. <laughs> Regardless, I am looking forward to this movie. It's coming on September 29th, which has been moved up from to October 29th, which I'm very glad. Although I would have loved to see this during Halloween, but I cannot wait to see Tobin Bell reprise his role as John Kramer, also known as Jigsaw. I hope you liked the video, I hope you liked the reaction. Like, share, subscribe and comment, let me know what you think, and hopefully I get to see you in my next video.